In this tutorial, I'll show you how to easily edit multicam video footage in Filmora 14. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, if you don't have Filmora, kindly use the link in the description below to follow along. Next up, you need multicam footage and you can either record this using a couple of different fonts like two fonts to get a straight up view and an angle view or maybe even your cameras and all that. But let's assume you don't have the footage. Uh, you can go over to Black Magic Design and I'll leave the link in the description below and get this particular uh, multicam editing footage right here. Uh, we're not going to be using DaVinci, we're going to be using Filmora, but you can get the footage here to practice along. And there are a bunch of videos and I've gone ahead and downloaded uh, the footage and uh, it's right here in uh, on my computer. So let's go back to Filmora. How do you use the multicam now? You can either go for this option, Multicam Editing, if it's available on the home screen, and it allows you to import footage from multiple cameras and seamlessly switch between different angles for an efficient and convenient editing experience. So it kinda saves you a ton of time. You can either find it there or in the toolbox right here, Multicamera Editing, but let's assume you've created a project. New project. Let's assume you're right about here. Uh, inside Filmora. Now, first of all, the layout I'm using is the classic layout. Uh, so take, take a note of that. And now the next option is just get your footage that you want to create uh, or the multicam footage that you want to edit down. Uh, so I'll just select these two. I'm going for a short one. Just drag and drop it right inside my media bin. Now, from the media bin, your footage is ready for multicam editing. And all you need to do is just select that is both clips and let's assume you had some audio and all that maybe an audio that you were recording externally you can also have it here just copy all and then now come and right click create multi-camera clip and once you do that the new dialog box is going to prompt you multi-camera clip name what name do you want to title uh, your multicam uh, and then the synchronization method it's either audio or fast frame at the time of recording this video. I wish it was also automatic uh, and use more or less Filmora to kind of recognize the different options. Now, the auto create proxy files is checked on or checked by default and this allows you to kind of work smoothly without having any issues, uh, even if your footage might be very high quality. So it's a really good move to have that. And once you're satisfied, just click on OK and it's going to auto synchronize your footage more or less based on the audio waveform as we've selected. Now we've got everything ready for us here. So you'll just see one uh, clip on the timeline and the audio and whatever and then you'll see the title, multi camera clip. But what you need to note is that to make edits here uh, more or less if before you begin the multi cam edit, you can click on this drop down here. In the main timeline. Once I do that, I'll click on multi camera clip. And once I do that, I'll get a reminder editing the composite timeline content will affect the added functional effects of the composite clip, including motion tracking, masks, and keyframes. ETC, click OK. And from here, you can zoom in slightly uh, because what I'm trying to look at is, uh, especially for uh, the main section of the interview, does this begin where it needs to begin? and it's slightly very slightly off uh, could be an issue with the waveform here with uh, cam2 but uh, my assumption is and let me assume this that everything is in sync uh, and the reason for that is if you try to move it moves according to the frames you there's no way we can land on this particular frame so even if you try to move your video is going to be very difficult to kind of move it but everything looks good so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the main timeline. And once I go back to the main timeline, I'm going to activate multi-camera view and this one. Once I do that, you'll see the multi-cam view depending on uh, the camera sources that you have and the audio sources. So uh, more or less this uh, more or less straight down shot is what we have as the default. And then we have the secondary one as the side view uh, of that particular clip. So. What I'm going to do is uh, from here, you can also choose actually what audio source. Is it video one, video two, or if you had audio, 
uh, maybe audio uh, or whatever idea that you have. So from here, I'm going to kind of come in here and just maybe split here and delete that section and go back home. And now from here, for you to make the edits, you need to play your clip on the timeline and then click on the different windows depending on what you want to choose. So let's play. That is the brainchild of my partner. Uh, he named the shop. I, I was a big fan of Orson Welles. I had done several projects on him uh, going through school and stuff like that. So I appreciated the pun and the play on the word uh, of Citizen Kane, Citizen Shane. Uh, and then only after we named the shop uh, by certain course of events, uh, uh, we found out that Rosebud was really a bicycle. Uh, the inspiration for Rosebud as a sled was a bicycle that the screenwriter had as a child. So I'm going to get it up to that particular section and just cut off the rest and delete. Now let's go back home and we can actually zoom to fit. And if I do play this now, I would like us all to watch here. That is the brainchild of my partner. Uh, he named the shop. I was a big fan of Orson You can Wells, see from the multicam uh, screen him, that it uh, switches based on what like camera that. angle I is being used. goes back the to the, the word, camera uh, clip uh, one Kane, or Citizen angle Shane. one. Uh, and then only two, after we named the shop. Really, uh, really seamless uh, to do events, in Film uh, 14. Right about now, it's super simple. Really uh, it can help you edit your multicam footage super, super fast. Now, uh, one thing we can actually try is let's say we want right here to kind of split this clip. And once we split, we want to have this particular uh, clip to be number two. Let's just click on it. And once I do that, that is what we get. If I play this, the play on the word uh, it switches to what chain. we wanted it to switch uh, to and then only after we and named the shop this was coming uh, up next certain course of events and then uh, uh, the straight down shot that that Rosebud and all that uh, now let's see uh, something else uh, I think there's either a bug or something but let's say I want to change this clip from a straight down to this if I click on this see what it did it actually changed up to this particular footage so press on control Z, change this. Actually, uh, the last clip is this angle. So what happens? Hmm. Let's click on this. Something I've noticed. So you can actually see what the clips have done. They've both, both gone to the kind of side view. So this is, let's see, it's this. Uh, this is a side view. Bring it back here. Let's say we do this. Yeah. Now that remains as we want it to be. Yeah. This either kind of bug or maybe the selection based on the selection that you've made, it kind of affects. So that's something I'd like us all to note because if you actually decide maybe to change the view somewhere here, it may end up affecting all other clips and uh, to a good extent you can notice that from these clips it's done that uh, right about there but hey if you're looking to do multicam edit in Filmora 14 it's super simple super easy just take a note of that uh, based on when you want to change the camera angle it may be affected uh, depending on uh, kind of what you're working on I'm not so sure what's making that particular issue uh, arise it could be a bug or something, but that's it. And that is how you can easily edit multicam footage in Filmora 14. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.